Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, um, one quick thing, the first episode didn't have uh, audio. I didn't set up OBS to properly record the audio uh, or capture the audio for the game. Um, and another, so yeah, I, I fixed that, as you can see, this guy makes a pretty cool sound. Um, but um, the other thing is that some people have been having, uh, they'll get like uh, their videos flagged on YouTube for the music in the game. Um, so you can just hit Control M to dis disable the music uh, for the game. Um, that's what I've done. And um, another thing that I don't really know if I've actually clarified in the past or not. Um, but yeah, all the music in my videos I make myself. Uh, besides being a gamer, I'm, I'm a composer, a uh, music maker. Um, so yeah, if you guys ever hear some uh, some music like in the background of my videos and stuff like that and you like the song, um, you can find the songs in my uh, playlists and stuff, so I'll be, uh, over time I'll slowly go uploading all my songs, I got a bunch of them, uh, since, because I've been making music since I was like 13, so a lot of the older ones are crappy, but, uh, but yeah, I got some, some, some of the newer stuff sounded pretty groovy. Um, but anyways, this is about Fortress Craft. So, um, what we're gonna do now, uh, I've been kind of sitting here feeding this thing resources, trying to pump up our, uh, power levels. Um, another thing I realized, you'll see over here this thing, um, we started off with a couple of these guys, ore extractors. I don't know why I can't select it now, but yeah, there it is, uh, ore extractor. Um, got two of them, or three actually. I placed one here, you place them on the uh, ore veins, and uh, right now I have no way of actually transferring power because eventually you can actually shoot like lasers, <laughs> which is cool. Um, from this thing you can transfer power to various uh, devices and stuff, but we don't really have the capability of doing that yet So what you can do is you place this guy down press E to open him up and here you can actually um, Manually feed him power from your suit um, Just be careful because it has a bigger capacity than your suit power right now like later on you can upgrade your suit But for now uh, that's what we got <laughs> So you can easily dump all your power in it and there's no way to get it out at least as far as I know once it's in uh, so yeah, if you're far away, you can accidentally dump all your power into an, a machine and succumb to hypothermia, so watch out. <laughs> Just another little uh, tip there. Anyways, so we fed this guy power and he filled, he mined some tin for us, so we got 26 tin there. And uh, I believe, I guess 26 was its capacity, like its default capacity. Uh, which again, you can also upgrade these things a lot, there's a bunch of different upgrades for them. But um... But yeah, so for now we got, I guess his capacity is 26. He's gonna, once, since we have to do that, he's gonna keep mining until he runs out of power. Um, take advantage of our super cool grapple hook. I guess it didn't work, but whatever. Um, so anyways, now we, let's see here. We need to wait for this guy to fill up. Okay, so he's filled up. So now this thing should start uh, filling up with power of its own. And let's see where that's going. So this is the ore smelter and we gotta stick our ores in here. However, the ore smelter takes a lot of power. So before we can really start smelting the ores, we gotta wait for this guy to really be full. And his power is still not going up, so he's gotta be feeding it into something. Let's see here, this guy's full. This guy's also full, so where's that power going? Hmm. The smelter is, shouldn't be running, no, it's, it's idling, huh. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there it goes. Yeah, I guess it had uh, maybe a small little buffer somewhere or something. So, um, I guess while that's charging, what we're going to do is we're going to go actually try and find some more ores. So, um, so yeah, I'm st it's, starting, it's all starting to come back to me, more or less the general idea of how to go about playing this game. So what we're going to do is, since we have our super awesome uh, grapple hook, we're gonna actually just dig straight down somewhere. Uh, you'll see there under my power level, it'll show you like a, a height meter. So that shows you like your level, your Y level. Um, so let's pick a good spot. I guess it's around here is as good a spot as any. Let's just kind of flatten this out a bit. So to use the, the build gun manually like this, uh, as I'm doing now, uh, does not cost power, at least not as far as I know. If it does cost power, it's a very, very small amount. Uh, so this is good, because if I hold control and do that like super dig thing, I'll dig it out really fast, but it'll just chew through my power. 
So you want to save that for um, for mining ores first. So this is a good spot as any. So we're going to dig a uh, two by one hole and we're going to go down to, oh, super dig. Okay, so we found something else here, cool. So let's bust our scanner. What is that, tin, more tin. Let's see how much is in this one. Ooh, 674,000. All right, so this is, ooh, yeah. So this is gonna be our bad boy tin vein. At least for now, until he runs out, because we are gonna, <laughs> uh, even that won't be enough, guys. So let's see here, we can, okay, let's actually go out. Let's use our grapple hook to get out. And we're gonna mark this real quick. Um, I don't believe there are any signs or anything in this game, like like in Minecraft, so you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make a T, T for tin. So we know that our tin is down there, down in this hole, and then we'll come back to it later. Um, let's see here, that's a little hole, I, that's where we found the, that rough rock or whatever. So let's pick another spot here and just go straight down. What we want to do is get to, I believe it's Y level 64. And that's where you start finding iron. Uh, and that's really what we need right now. We need tin. Uh, if we found our tin, we need to find copper and iron. So that was Arthur. I saw this guy do his uh, weird little glitchy leg thing. He does like improbable, impossible things with his legs sometimes. So yeah, I guess he still does that. He's kind of doing some weird stuff right now, but you guys haven't seen the half of it. You, oh yeah, he freaking, he freaks out. <laughs> it's It can be quite enter entertaining. Anyways, let's try and, ooh, what's this? Oh, this is, this is, okay, I don't know what this is. Paint gun. This seems new. Well, uh, I accidentally, what did I hit? N? I believe. Yeah, okay, so N brings out the paint gun. <laughs> have no idea what that is. I guess we'll figure that one out eventually. Anyways, right now we want to ping known. So that ate up some power. However, there's a few chunks of goodies over here. So let's use our mighty grapple hook. And uh, hit X to bring out the build gun. And let's go ahead and just kind of mine our way up there. So if it's an ore, yeah, there we go. Uh, when you hit rubble like that, you'll know it's an ore, because you can't uh, go through. This is a coal vein, great. Coal, 828,000, yes. Freaking awesome, that is exactly what we needed. So, all right, so this is our coal vein. Oh, you know what? There was this feature called hollow base. Here it is, J, what's that, J? K, hit K as in kilo, and that'll bring up the hollow base. This actually allows you to see uh, through stuff like so okay so that's my base there so i know that my base is there this is actually a really 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 cool feature that i totally forgot about i'm not sure what those mm, there's a lot of little like uh green cubes around if those i really hope those aren't what i think they are uh there were these things oh this is a red one uh oh hmm there were these things called hives uh, as, I, as far as I know, it has nothing to do with that overmine thing, that mess, weird message we got earlier. Um, but these things... Uh, oh, what, oh, that's Arthur. Uh, I really hope this isn't what I think it is. So what we're going to do is be brave and just dig down straight on top of it. Find out what the heck this is. is. Oh god, we fell. Yeah, there we are. Oh, we found a cave go in this little cave so let's hit k to get out of our hollow base oh no but we have to see that thing what the heck oh no we fell further down so this yes this is the dreaded hives oh goodness oh goody um i don't have a flashlight do i no i do not i believe yay you press g to uh use a little bit of power you throw like this glow stick thingy it's kind of hard to tell what stuff is sometimes it's got that like weird like green light but um but yeah this stuff sucks man <laughs> um this you can't mine it or anything but we can scan it so let's go ahead and scan it um this is um basically like eventually we'll be setting up like conve conveyors and stuff to bring uh resources around and um these things these freaking hive things uh spawn like these little creatures that'll latch on they'll basically uh siphon off your resources as you mine them um so yeah they suck you got to come back and destroy those basically so yeah how are you liking that grapple hook let's see 
here. Okay, yeah, this is actually a really awesome feature. Um, this really, really helps on out uh, later on once you start getting really deep and stuff because it can be <laughs> you can get lost easily so this allows you to see like all your machinery and stuff uh, so for example that thing there I believe that's the uh, ore extractor that I had laid down let's see yeah that's the ore extractor and uh, so yeah all the machinery you got you that you guys go laying out will show up here in the hollow base uh, including some rather nasty stuff like this guy here. I really, really do not like those things. I'm not sure what the, all these, if the, all those freaking green dots are like these things, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that will not be good at all. I really, I'm going to cross my fingers right now and hope that they're not because I remember last time those hives, well, number one, they're red. Uh, and number two, they were fairly rare. I want to say not too rare but they weren't they weren't this common so those must be some uh, yeah anyways let's try what we needed to do what we we're trying to do anyways before we found this here we had the tin and then the coal up here I believe it was and now we need to go down to 64 and find us some iron so let's try here let's just kind of <clears throat> mark this spot off here and just kind of dig down see if we can get 64 you know what actually blind me. It, before I forget it's very important that you always go out with uh, good power capacity oh god now we're not gonna be able to work the grapple hook um, let's see if we can grapple onto this guy so does he need, yeah, well whatever oh goodness oh no that was not good See, this thing's powerful, man. You gotta be careful. There we go, all right, we're back. Anyways, um, oh, now I forgot what I was gonna do, power. We need power, because yeah, you, you never wanna go spelunking uh, low on power. You will regret it, I promise you. So while we're here, we're gonna throw in another resource. We threw enough wood log this time. Anyways, let's go on down here. That's for the sake of let's throw down a, uh, a thing. So we can actually use a grapple hook to go down too. You just kind of aim at the wall and, and grapple hook and it'll it'll uh, slow you down. So okay, so we hit something else now. What is this? This is a copper ore vein. Okay, let's hope this is a big one. Uh, 179,000. That's all right, I suppose. It's not too bad. However, let's um, let's keep digging. Actually, so let's dig a little bit uh, sideways here, and then just keep going down until we hit 64. Oh, game froze. Uh oh. Okay, so we probably went through like a chunk or something like that. Um, G. And now we're getting close, almost there. Already 64. So let's go ahead. Um, a thing I like to do in this game, uh, and I believe I believe it's fairly standard to do in this game, you go down in increments of uh, 64. Um, I believe in uh, more or less in increments of about 256, you'll encounter some kind of new obstacle that you have to overcome. So for example, I believe it's around 256, like the first obstacle you encounter, you have these like cold caverns that uh, you actually need a suit upgrade to survive there. Uh, it's, it's, it's much, much colder than your suit can even protect you from now. So, uh, so yeah, that's something you gotta keep in mind. So don't just, you know, go willy-nilly <laughs> all the way freaking down, because you will regret it, I promise. Anyways, let's pull out our ore scanner and scan for unknown. Ooh, look at that, ooh, okay. We got a big guy over here. Let's check this one out. Let's see what this is. This might be a little bit of ways, but can't see a bloody thing. Let's hope this is iron or perhaps lithium, maybe. We haven't found any lithium either. So it's a big one though. That's good. Ah, and it's just a new material, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's some it's a different kind of rock. Hmm, got excited there for a second. Let's see here, ping unknown, yeah, ooh, whoa. So yeah, that's not, that's, uh, that's just research points, basically. It's not really useful for anything other than just like, a, I guess it's a build material. Um, hmm. And now it's just probably gonna find all that stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So that was there, let's try over here. 
rubble. There we go, that's an ore. That's hopefully one of the two ores that we need. Oh, you need them all, right? So let's see here. Oh goodness, we are out of power. We're succumbing. Oh God, no, we're probably gonna die. Oh, this is not good. Okay, you see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. Oh God. Let's try and dig our way up. This is not how I wanted it to end. We're almost there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we're out. We're out. Where's the freaking base? Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> we made it, guys. All right, we made it. Oh, no, we're still... Why, 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 why? Power. Power, power. Oh, yes. Good old power. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, indeed. That was quite close. See? Always want to be careful, guys. What did I tell you? <laughs> All right, but we made it. We made it. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get some more wood <laughs> to be able to uh, throw into this guy. Ah, that was a close encounter, eh? That was, uh, that was good. <laughs> that was real good. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, it, that got me off track. Anyways, let's go back down. <laughs> now we got a straight hole since we actually dug just kind of straight up. Ooh, ooh, there we go. So we actually hadn't scanned whatever that was. So let's see here. The grapple hook, as far as I know, doesn't cons... Oh, it does. Oh no, it's uh, that's the, the cold. Alright, so let's see here. Where the heck was that? I believe that was over here. Can't see a damn thing. Was that over here? Or no, that was that other kind of rock. So where was that ore? Down here. Yeah, there we go. M. Let's scan this guy. Oh, this is a coal vein. 29,000 coal. Okay. Hmm, I thought I had pinged unknown. Okay, it's right. Look at that, right below it. Let's bust out the. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it's right next to another kind of ore. Or is it? Unknown. There we go. Alright, scan new block. So, let's go back up and research that guy. Where was my tunnel? I gotta mark it with the... Uh, I should mark that with the torch, shouldn't I? I believe the tunnel up is up here. Nope. Where was my tunnel? Let's grab our solitary torch. You need coal, as in Minecraft, uh, to uh, make more torches. So as soon as we can get some more coal, I have to find my friggin' hole. <laughs> Where is it? It's over here. Okay, so we're gonna put you, pick you up and just put you there in the corner. So I know it gets up there. Alrighty. Oh. No, we're gonna, uh, when we get up here, we're gonna do something to make it easier to come up. Just gonna give it a little arch. That'll make it easier to grapple hook your way up later. So, oh, I believe you can hold. Yeah, you hold control and uh, and then place blocks, and it'll kind of place them down. Kind of like a, a sort of uh, Star Made Advanced Build Mode type feature thingy. If that made any sense? Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It will uh, place a line of blocks down up to your position. Uh, so that's good for quick and easy building. So we make a nice little arch like that on the top of our little shaft pit thing um, and that makes it 10 times easier to grapple hook your way back up so you just aim up throw the grapple hook and it'll bring you up um, so yeah so we got some unknown goodies here where's our research station we got plenty of power for now so let's just go ahead and research all this stuff that was a glow shroom hardened resonance that freaking stuff uh, rock and 15, ooh, this is gonna be a goodie. Iron, yay! Okay, so that was iron. All right, so now we are probably gonna have to... Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is fill ourselves with power, and we're gonna go place those ore extractors on, uh, on the various uh, ores. So let's see here, we had... Actually, the first one we should do is probably this one up here. We had a coal vein up here to get power that way i can just throw those into the uh, into the power hub 
and uh, it'll make things a lot easier actually because they're worth more power and they're easier to get and stuff. So I'm not sure why I'm getting those little hiccups there. Anyways, let's see here. Ping known. There it is. Ooh, look at that guy. Yeah. So that should be a nice chunk of coal. Yeah. I'm just gonna kind of dig out the whole area here. Um, so yeah, that's our coal, I believe it was. Let's just double check. Yeah, coal ore vein, and it had, how much did it have? Okay, yeah, so this was a really big one. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's get our ore extractor here. Let's just place him right there, and we're gonna give him a bit of power, not too much, because if not, I'll die. So, uh, oh yeah, the little Arthur guy, he'll, if you just saw, he kind of shot me with a laser. <laughs> He's, uh, it's a friendly laser. <laughs> it, it charges your battery. So he has his own little, uh, battery and he'll go transferring you power and stuff like that. Um, and I believe he has a solar cell. I believe these things, uh, this is a solar cell, so during the day this thing will slowly charge itself and so will uh, Arthur. And I believe there's a solar cell upgrade for you as well, so that's something we have to manufacture at some point. Uh, but anyways, let's see here. Let's try and yeah, throw more resources into there. Um, get a bit more power and get some coal that we can just kind of throw some coal in there and then the next thing we should do is uh, actually instead of a generator the first first thing we should actually get is a, a mini hopper a uh, mini hopper will allow us to uh, instead of having to put manually one by one all these uh, like coal ore and stuff like that uh, we can just um, we can throw them into a hopper which is basically a storage or whatever uh, and the cpu or the cph yeah cph will uh, automatically pull them up. So the mini hopper has a capacity of 10, I believe it was. So we can, it's basically being able to load 10 coal at a time. So you don't have to constantly be manually feeding it objects, right? So that's going to be the first thing we're going to build. And just to double check that required, let's see here, the mini hopper needs two tin, two copper. Okay. So that's actually really cheap. Um, well, kind of, I mean, you guys will see. Uh, ingots are very precious things in this game. So that single block that we had found over here, I believe it was copper. Yeah, so there's like two, three blocks of copper here. So it's not much, but um, actually let's go ahead and place our next, our last ore extractor here. So let's give him a bit of power too. There we go, about 100 power should be good. Not too much, not too little. These guys, these are slimes. These things, uh, they're kind of like, I guess, how would you say, I guess like the pigmen from Minecraft. They'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. <clears throat> but um, if you attack them, they will attack you. And they pack quite a punch. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, so, I'm going to add more power here. We were... Adding power, now we got to, so let's go grab our coal here, it probably, uh, well I grabbed one or two, but let's go and get this guy out one more time. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that grapple hook sometimes, because it can, uh, it can be dangerous. So there we go, we got some coal now, let's use our grapple to get back, Ooh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. So now, we gotta make sure that so i automatically put okay so yeah see that you automatically put the coal ore in there that's good so that burned for quite a while and i believe it's actually okay i don't it doesn't seem to burn for longer but it seems to generate more power that's good so you'll generate power faster then that's good to know yeah see this guy's charging a lot faster now good 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 so yeah so coal is one of the first things you want to get. <laughs> then followed by the mini hopper, so you can stick like 10 coal at a time. And then I suppose we can work our way up to um, generators, conveyors, and all that stuff and beyond. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick pause right here. I'm going to gather um, some more resources. So let's see here. Let's count. We have tin. We have the tin one here, a coal one there, and the iron one or not the the copper one here there we go that way we can see them says so one two and it's flashing red because it's out of power i believe um so it's that one 
So yeah. Already, guys. Or no, it's uh, I believe it's full actually, not out of power. Let's see here. Log storage, yeah. Okay, so this guy's full. We can just take that out. Awesome. And he still has quite a bit of power actually. All right. So the power is uh, seems to have a good use. It's not like it just burns through its power in like five seconds. So that's cool. Alrighty, guys. I'll um I'll make a quick pause right here. I'm gonna go ahead and gather some more res resources and stuff, and I will be right back.